United States Navy is the largest and most advanced Navy in the world. Navy in the world. Fielding everything from aircraft carriers and maritime patrol aircraft to submarines, destroyers, and helicopters. So when you're challenge is trying to narrow it down to just five selections. For this, I test the larger platform, such as the aircraft carriers, amphibious assault ships. Be sure those are actually the most lethal weapons in the Navy's arsenal. However, everyone knows this big platform, they're actually the sum of many smaller ones. That I wanted to play platforms that were outstanding in some particular way. With emphasis on the biggest bang for the buck. I also wanted to spread out the selection. It's easy to merely Service ships and submarines, ignoring aircraft and submissions. Before proceeding, it's worth noting that the Navy began the cusp of a technological revolution with new ships, fighters, radars, lasers. In the book of Revelation, 13, and verse 4, and the worship the dragon uh, which gave power to the beastie. And as they worshipped the beast, say, saying, Who is like unto the beast, and who is able to make war with him? All praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Lakaka Dash, and Abuhana to the elder and the apostle who will demand stony peace, bless and salutation to Zaki, and more pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven. As you saw earlier, Isa will still sink. And nobody can go to war uh, with the America, man. But what they don't realize is the Lord uh, is taking away that status uh, uh, every day, man, uh, without even them uh, realizing. And uh, why? Because uh, Esau, especially uh, those who live in America, uh, they are very stout, you see. <laughs> That's why the scripture tells you that little horn which came the block of three horns, three other horns, and uh, which uh, represent America. When America came into power, uh, they took that power from three countrymen, which is uh, Britain, uh, uh, France, and Spain. Man. But the scripture continued to tell you uh, he was uh, more stout than his fellow man. Going back. Uh, to the Edomite in America being more stout, man, uh, stout, very stubborn, man, very proud, man. That's why they do videos like uh, uh, reasons why uh, no nation can mess with America, uh, reasons why uh, 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 America can't be conquered, uh, reasons why America can't fall, man. What they don't know is uh, uh, who have that mandate to make a nation fall to set a king. Is our Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahashai, man? So, everything uh, in this is uh, uh, going back to time, space, and everything which is going on, uh, even the heavens, man. Uh, everything is under, is under His control. Let's go to the scriptures, man. Let's first get Daniel 4, man. Daniel 4 and 17. Let's uh, see. Uh, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the whole one. I mean, who are the watchers? I mean, the angel. Uh, the intent that the living may know that the most higher rulers in the kingdom of men and give it to whoever he will and set us up over it is the basis of men. So uh, if the Lord can give a kingdom to a, to a man he choose, uh, he can even make it fall, man. So... Let's continue. So, uh, the Edomites in the Americas are very stubborn and stout, man. Uh, what they don't realize is the Lord can set whoever uh, he wants to be the ruler, man. And what they have, uh, it was given to, to them by our Lord, Haba Hashem, Yahashai, man. Let's go. Let's go to the So, uh, let's go to a scripture showing uh, the Edomite in America. They are more stout than their fellow. 
this is uh, Danieli 7 and 20 and uh, of the 10 horns that were in his head and of the other which came up uh, this is going into uh, this different uh, nations uh, of this Edomite before whom three fell even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that speak very good things and this is talking about America whose look was more stout than his father. If you go to that word, a stout, a meaning, they, they, they give you an example of, of, of the very big, a fat pig, man. They, they usually are very stubborn, man. You see? So, American are very stubborn, they are very stout, they are very proud. They think that they can't follow, man. What they don't know is that the Lord is setting this other nation in your lay against you, man. And that's why the destruction of America will come like a thief in the night. See? So this is your badam. Let's get your badam, man. This, this is your badam one. I started with verse 2. Behold, I have made thee a small among the heathen. So what greatly despised, and that's going into uh, uh, Esau, and the pride of the heart have deceived oh. thee. So all of the Edomite are very proud, but the Edomite in America are very stout. Uh, like how uh, uh, two said they are everywhere, man. Everywhere, uh, there are two said in, in, in London or, or in, in Europe, oh. you have two said in Africa, you have two said in the, in the Middle East or the East, you have two said, but the two said which are in America are the worst of the worst. That is the Lord, man. The Lord planned it to be like that. That's why America will be destroyed and nobody will be left, man. So the Lord, He gathered all the two said who are very stubborn to America so that they can be mangled. Like how he gathered all the Edomite which are very stout uh, into America, man. The Edomite who are very, very proud is there in America, man. That's why they tell you uh, our country can't be destroyed. Uh, hey, man, and if you go to this video, this other video, uh, talking about Russia uh, having uh, nukes in which America don't have, uh, you will always have Edomite from America uh, flooding the comment board. Uh, going into America can't be destroyed. America can't be destroyed. We have this, we have that. Russia don't have this. Uh, Iran don't have this. Uh, what they don't know that our Lord is a, is a man of war, man. And uh, uh, you have in history wars, uh, which were uh, 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 people won wars, uh, they win wars, uh, even having a small number of people and the underdeveloped weapon, man, against a great nation. Like Alexander the Great, like Alexander the Great won a war against Median Persia, man, but he was not as strong as Median Persia, man. So, winning wars and getting victory in wars, that's not for a man to decide, man, and we'll get that scriptures. So, this Edomite is very proud, man. Those that dwell in the cliff of the rock, whose habitation is high, that says in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? So let's go on. So let's go on, man. I wanted to prove that uh, who gets saved in a war, and uh, who wins the war, and uh, who establishes the strongest kingdom, and uh, who has the, the strongest nerve, uh, those are all the will of Yahaba, Hashem, Yahashai, man. So this is Psalm 33 starting at verse 16. There is no king saved by a multitude of one, of one host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. So going into that, you don't win war by how much strength you have. And why? Because the Lord is the one who makes you win. The Lord is the one who can make you lose. Uh, you have wars which were, were won in history with the smallest number and, 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 and there's a ridiculous, a ridiculous a weapon you can you, you can you can even think of. Right? 
because that's why you, in war you have strategies ambush allays and the opportunity you see so there is what you call opportunity that's why the lord tell you uh, every man he was gi- he is given time uh, babylon was given his time his time is running out man that's why babylon will be taken out man and no matter how this other people say so this 17 and horse is a vain thing for safety and and that horse it represents strength man uh, we all know that when it comes to military strength america is the strongest man uh, you see but the scripture telling you strength is a vain thing for safety verse 17 and horse is a vain thing for safety a substitute and that way the horse for strength man strength is a vain thing for safety neither shall be delivered any by his great strength that's the spirit they broke it down to you the horse simply means strength man so as a strength of america they won't be of any use in the day of the lord man that's why the lord is setting this as a nation in your lay man and when you set uh, people in your lay uh, you are waiting to ambush your enemy man, to take him by surprise that's what is going to happen man. this other nation you are going to hit america uh, strategically man, to hit the strate- strategic uh, point man power structure of America the army man to the extent that America will be useless that day America strength your nerve your air force what we call it will be useless man because every every good thing have a certain pressure point and when you exploit those pressure point you can bring down that is that thing man even in america america have it is the weakest a part you know, those pressure point yeah so the lord will put his spirit in this other nation man to touch or, or to place those pressures pressure point uh, which make america a uh, great man and america will collapse overnight you see so let's go let's go to let's go to Jeremiah first after that we'll go to Isaiah we'll finish with Isaiah so, They are starting to to bring things that don't want. This is Isaiah 59. For law I will raise in the cause to come up against Babylon and the assembly of a great nation. You see, and because America have much strength, that's why this other nation needed to come together. Man. Not only coming together, let's continue leading from nation from the north country, they shall set themselves in a lay, man. A lay in ambushment. It will be a coalition of many nations. And they won't do what we call a front war. In a war, you have a tactic when the front. When the throughout history, many nation, many great nations who who fail, they had plowed that they can do a front war with any nation and they come out of victory. What they don't know is as the nation they are going to fight with, as they are doing a tactical war. You set yourself in your lay and ambush the, the mighty men, man. And you strike his pressure point within no time, he will fall down. That's what this other nation 
will do man and the lord is putting a spirit on them that's why that's what we read in isaiah 59 man as they will sit in your lay against your man so it is it will be like a conspiracy that's why the day of the lord will come like a thief man you see so uh, this idiot really don't know what the hell is going on man they say they have the high IQ, but they don't even know uh, many great countries fail because of proud, 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 man. Uh, uh, they believe that they can do a front war with any nation to come out a uh, uh, victory. That's what America uh, uh, spirit is, man. They can do a front war with any nation and destroy it and bring it down. Uh, what they, they don't know now it will be different this nation it will be a coalition of nation man is a reset trap against this home man and the what happen when he, when you trap a home man uh, he will start scratching his head uh, eating uh, eating glasses uh, uh, scratching the ground man all of his understanding will be taken out man it's so america will be like a little beach man you see he will turn to a beach uh, he is man and so this is that let's go uh, to isaiah let's go to, to isaiah 14 man let's go to isaiah 14. Isaiah 14 and the six who he who smote the people in last we see a continual stroke who is that America man and he is that rules the nation in anger is persecuted and non hinderless man see uh, so this is going to America man America will be taken taken out man uh, nobody will hinder that man uh, uh, this is this idomite uh, who, 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 who make this video at that time when this this heat really started going down man they will know the lord is a really a genius when it comes to military strategies man the whole race is at least is quiet and then break force into into thing into, into thing yeah the fig tree rejoice at the the said of Lebanon is saying since it's all at laid down, no fail has come against you. So the fig tree and the seed of Lebanon is going back uh, to the nation of Israel as a whole, man. At that time, we will sing, man, because our, our adversary will be cut off, man. And no fail has come up against us, man. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming and the stirred up the dead, the dead for thee. So this is going to the wicked elite of the nation of Israel, of Israel man. As they will be met with hardcore bondage and the slavery. Even all the chief one of the earth, it has raised up from their throne all the kings of the nation. All of these shall speak out and say unto thee, at so as will become weak as we. And so uh, this nation, they see America a uh, very, very strong man. You see, and no, hey man, if you go to prophesy in this might here, when you start about talking about the fall of America, they just laugh you and they say that hey, you need some medication, you, you, you are insane, you see, <laughs> you see, that is all became like unto us, it's like pomp is about town, it's going back to the, to the plight of Babylon and, 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 and his stoutness. Uh, to the grave and the noise of the vial, the worm is spread under them and going back to that collusion. Uh, what you see in America, so what is happening is the infra infrastructure being broken down, man, that collusion. And uh, this is twofold as uh, the worm also represent as a elect man because we don't have any strength, man. Uh, you see, uh, what we do is uh, we break down a Babylon by prophesizing man so we we, we symbolize those worms man uh, you see it goes into colossian and the earth yeah yes that's 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 it man and it's a warm cover z mm. how what is all falling from heaven or lucifer uh, lucifer means the light barrier and america is a light barrier 
to this Edomite right? nation as well. So this you can say this Lucifer talking about the, 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 the elite of Isa again when you go back to the nation of Edom, Edom was a whole America is a beacon of Esau's kingdom. Man. You see how it is all fallen all Lucifer. You see the sun of the morning, how it is all cut down to the ground with with the weaken the nations. Man. This is going to the elite of the wicked nation of Esau and the America as a beacon of light. So all of them will be brought down to the lowest estate, man. So I hope you brothers are edified uh, on to the next shalom.